viruses change form by mutation in their specific physical antigens. Omicron is the new variant of COVID infection. Cold, runny nose, sneezing, dry cough, body ache, headache, muscle pains. Loss of smell and taste is less frequent in Omicron than the Delta variant. If you think you may have symptoms suggestive of COVID-19, make sure first isolate yourself. Then see a doctor via teleconsultation. Organize an RT-PCR test. Make sure you take your medications for your chronic conditions, which could be diabetes or any other comorbidities regularly. Make sure you eat a nutritious diet, which would be low in simple sugars and unhealthy fats, but rich in fruits, fiber and vegetables. Rest plentiful and await for your results. Rapid antigen tests are available in the pharmacies for self-diagnosis of COVID. These tests are chromatographic immunoassay for quality detection of specific antigens of COVID-19. You take a nasopharyngeal swab, uh, follow the steps that are in the kit, and in 15 to 30 minutes, your result is ready. The test has a high specificity of 99% and the sensitivity is about 71%. Which means that if you have symptoms and the test comes positive, then you do not need to do an RT-PCR, you are positive. But if you have symptoms and the test comes out negative, then you should check or double check with an RT-PCR to see if RT-PCR comes positive. There has been no direct correlation found between these two conditions. One is a viral caused infection and the second is a metabolic disorder. But 5 to 14% patients who've had COVID get diabetes later on. Data has very clearly shown. Now, why does that happen? There are many theories. A huge population of the world has pre-diabetes or early diabetes that is not diagnosed. And because of that, when they get COVID, they get frequent blood tests, they have an infection in their body, and post-COVID, a lot of people have had health checks that has shown higher sugar numbers, or they get diagnosed with diabetes. Fear of acquiring an infection, fear of losing life of the loved one, financial losses, depression and anxiety, all are reasons for psychological and physical stresses during pandemic. In stress, diabetes again gets uncovered if you have a genetic predisposition or if you have pre-diabetes or you have early diabetes. Medications like steroids, which have been found to be life-saving in, in, in the treatment of COVID-19, tend to produce sugar spikes. These are well controlled by oral medications or changing insulin doses if you're a diabetic. But if you had genetic predisposition or pre-diabetes, you might end up getting into a diabetes situation after COVID is over. Most patients will recover completely from COVID. But in case you're concerned about diabetes, watch out for these warning signs. Frequent urination at night or during the day, excessive hunger, excessive thirst, feeling extremely tired despite resting adequately and unable to achieve your baseline weight despite eating well and despite doing regular exercise. 